hi this is harimon vashne welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to work on a helical coil so in this tutorial like we will be having a tungsten coil uh, coil that is generating heat due to electrical resistance so the load is simulated using internal heat generation so we further assume the coil operates in a vacuum so the only heat transfer mechanism is radiation so let's start we are going to take this steady state thermal and also from here we can change this units from here if like uh, unit system from here we can take this one close okay now double click on engineering data here we are going to add a new material that is tungsten Now we have to add isotropic thermal conductivity and that is 0 0.118 Ok now close this engineering data and import geometry double click on model so this model has been updated here now we have to go this geometry to this uh, heating coil then we have to assign this to tungsten okay now we are going to select this whole body okay then insert internal heat generation so here we are going to enter magnitude of 0 0.02 watt per mm cube okay now we are going to click on face select this one and extend limits so these three surfaces had been selected here you can see three faces then insert now we are going to insert radiation and ambient temperature we are going to keep 30 degree and we have to change this emissivity to 0 0.25 now we are going to solve So solution and formation here we can also see the heat convergence so this is showing heat convergence heat criteria all other things okay now so we are going to drag this radiation here and evaluate all results so here you can see 
so here you can see minimum value over time that is it is say 24.88 watt and if we see here property of this uh, helical coil so here you can see volume it is this much and uh, that heat generation we have applied that is 0 0.02 and uh, total heat generation will be if we so that uh, heat uh, generation we have applied 0 0.02 watt per mmq and vol volume is 15583 so that is coming 311.66 and if we see here probe reaction probe is showing 324.88 watt so this is within 2% of the actual heat generation so now we are going to add uh, individual we are going to add some more results here insert temperature and insert total heat flux now evaluate all the results so temperature we can see minimum maximum and total heat flux also we can see like this go to this results and click on vector so heat flux will be flowing like that okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe my youtube channel